Hello everybody. My name is Ed. I'm in my armchair and a smoking lamp is lit. Today, well, we'll get to what I'm smoking just a bit. Gonna show you a few of my um, Canadian pipes and you'll have to forgive me. Um, I'm not gonna distinguish between if they're a lumberjack or, you know, other names, other types. To me, they're all Canadian and they all have a purpose to fill up my pipe racks. Ah. Anyway, before we um, grab a few um, pipes off the racks, we're going to go now to a special edition of Anyway You Know. Anyway, you know, special edition. I am smoking the si Friday Savinelli. Take a look at this guy. It is, I don't know if that actually helps. It is just fantastic. It's the matches 860. I have number 215. Very nice. Got this in. Was going to have a, my first ever Yabo. I couldn't wait. I knew what it was. Ripped it open. Was smoking it immediately. Although I am smoking my favorite tinderbox philosopher simply because I always start and start breaking in all of my pipes with that. And after at least a few smokes, then I might expand and, you know, and use some other stuff. But obviously, my new favorite pipe. And I don't want to come off like a intellectual genius. You know, I mean, it's been a burden for me my whole life. But the English language does not cover this pipe. So I am going to give my description in a ancient language. This is Beauteous Megamus Maximus. That's Latin, you know. You know? Okay, first things first. This is my old Stanwell collection, which I've got a few more since the last video. But I'm going to borrow this guy right here. Okay. Now we're looking at my um, collection of Canadians. And what we're going to do today is I'm going to take a look at this one. We're going to look at this guy. And, oops, sorry, this guy. All right. I'll see you back at the armchair. Okay, so we're now back in my armchair. Going to put this guy down. Going to show you some Canadian pipes. First, whoops, <laughs> second first. A Stanwell. Amazingly enough, this also, if you can remember, I am collecting this Sexton Everson design pipes that he did for Stanwell. And this is a brand new one for, well, it's used, got it from eBay. And look at this guy. It's just beautiful. Now, I've smoked it a couple times already. And believe me, I am liking it. I don't think you have any light over there. We'll just kind of go with this. But still, it is a nice pipe. And right off the bat, like so many of the 
Dan Wells, this really starts smoking right off the back, bat. And I haven't even started really breaking it in. You know, I've just had a few bowls, so I've only had it, got it last week. Unfortunately, because of the matches 860 pipe, heh, it is not my favorite pipe. That's reserved for my newest, and that's the matches 860. Next pipe. This one, I want to show you just simply because, what? It is a Dunhill I got on eBay. Now this one took a fair amount of work on this guy. Um, mainly, what well, no no repair work whatsoever. This was mainly just a cleanup, cleanup, and then maybe doing a little bit more cleanup. Fair amount of um, you know reaming it out, not that bad, but still, it's a beautiful pipe. I can definitely see why, well, I can't really see, but still, it's a Dunhill. I mean, it's just smooth, board, you know, it's everything just really perfect. Um, I was going to say, you know, you can tell why Dunhill is so expensive. Can't really. This was a eBay find, but... I like it. Next Canadian. And I do have many more Canadians, as you saw. This guy here, this one, one actually is also fairly new. I mean, I think I got this about five, six months ago. But, look at the size of this compared to, you know, other pipes that I have. It's just this nice big bowl, which is something that I really like. Um, so this is something I can fill up, smoke. I can get maybe hour, hour and a half easy out of this guy. Um, and as you may know, Armchair Piper is named because most of my smoking is in my armchair. And most of the time, I'm just watching a movie. And if I can light a pipe when a movie starts and it goes pretty much through the movie, I like it. So this is this guy. And this is really, um, I think it's a no name, but it does say made in London, England. Good enough for me, mainly, I got this one for the size of the bowl. Now, we get to this pipe. This is, oh, made in England, but London, England. It's a 26, and it is a... Can't quite read it, and I apologize that I didn't get my magnifying. Looks like a burned, burned berry, but here is the main thing with this. This was my first Canadian pipe, and before I got it. I didn't really care. I, I had no idea I wasn't, you know, what type of pipes I'm going to smoke and stuff. I actually tended to use, um, get bent pipes. Those really appealed to me from the very beginning and now. But this guy here, I got this from my dad. So this was my first Canadian pipe. I'll show it a little, another little episode. Um, but also my first poker was from my dad. So two pipes from my dad that were just 
completely different from anything I had. And that stayed that way for quite a while. I mean, I it's only been the last couple of years when I really started collecting, collecting, or, you know, obtaining more pipes that I actually started looking at, you know, and had the opportunity, some of those pipes that I've showed you already. But this guy, this is just a great pipe. At first, I didn't even, um, oh, wait a minute. I am sorry. This is a Ben Wade. Now I can see it. It definitely has a few holes in it, but that's okay. With my dad, <laughs> breaking it in very well. <laughs> I started occasionally smoking it. Again, I like to bend pipes. So it wasn't that big of a thing for me until maybe about four or five years ago. Actually, after I retired, um, I smoked it. started realizing I kind of like it and I've been smoking it a lot since then. And with my dad breaking it in for me, I mean, what a nice guy. I had to clean it up, polish it up. I did have to do some work on this stem. There's teeth marks in there. My dad was a clencher and you can tell my dad's pipes because it's teeth marks were exactly the same spot on every one of his pipes. That's the way he smoked it. Just put it in his mouth. I think it was a little bit more off to the side, like this. So, liking it. That is um, pretty much what I have to say. So I thank you for dropping by. So goodbye for now. I would appreciate if you would subscribe so that I know who's out there. Like and subscribe. Don't like and you're not going to get to heaven. So for now, may your smoking lamp always be lit. And you take care out there.